This is Twit. <sighs> patent trolls. You know, we've talked about patents. This made me so sad. This is the new the new egg trial. Yes. You get Whit Diffie coming in <laughs> saying, oh. I invented public key oh, cryptography. Well, actually, that 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 I I sent a link when when ours reported that. And I said to my Twitter followers, read down at least until down to. Anyway, so so here's the background. We've got this guy, Eric Spandenberg, who is he sets up shell corporations. He's got nine of them that he owns and apparently a total of 22 of them owned by family members. And and so this one is known as TQP Development, and it it owns the rights to one patent, which has long since expired, by the way. It's no longer even a valid patent. So the technology it protects, which was for to it, it was for modems back in the modem days, a means of cryptographically protecting the data that modems were exchanging. This company, this Eric Spandenberg with his TQP development, purchased the patent from its originator for three quarters of a million dollars. So, so okay, that's, that's a chunk of money. He has then gone around and sued nearly 140 different companies generating a total of 45 million three hundred and seventy thousand dollars a mutual fund Dodge and Cox was sued and paid a little over twenty five thousand um, dollars a at the Pentagon Credit Union paid $65,000. Alliance Insurance, $950,000. And Microsoft paid him a million dollars. Notice that all these sums are less than the estimated million and a half it costs to fight it. And that's one yes. of the reasons patent trolling works. These companies... Yes. it's They just made yes. a simple business decision. Well, it's even yes. a million dollars is less than it would cost to defend it. Yes, and it, I, I'm I'm thrilled that Newegg, despite the fact yes. that it's cost them millions, and now they have lost for another couple of million, uh, decided to fight it. So, the the deal with the original inventor, the inventor gets get this, Leo, two point five percent of any money recovered, plus three hundred and fifty dollars an hour as a consulting fee. So far. The inventor has made five hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollars, while Spandenberg keeps the rest. Now, now arguably, more than more than forty million dollars that he's keeping. That's his. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So now you know why people do this. Exactly. You could swallow so, a lot of ethics for forty million dollars. So Newegg says no. Newegg has been sued before. And has always said no. They won't do this. So, so the the drama here, which occurred just recently, is when expert witnesses, who, who were whose job it was to explain the technology to the jury. This was a jury trial, as opposed to just explaining this to a judge. They took the stand on Friday of last week. New Egg's, New Egg's star witness, the person we talk about often, Whitfield Diffie of Diffie-Hellman fame. You know, the, the, the Diffie-Hellman key agreement that, you know, key um, uh, cryptographer takes the stand. Um, Diffie's goal was to knock out the so-called Jones patent because this was some guy named Jones was the the guy who added this. And I have to say, I've looked at the patent and I mean, it is nice. It, it is nice technology. It's not junk. It's, it, it is, you know, honest to goodness, really good encryption for a point to point connection between two modems. It's good, but it wasn't first. 
And that's the key. He's is the guy. Whit Diffie's a guy on the left, by the way. The lawyers. Oh yeah, the right. you can tell who's the attorney <laughs> and and who is who invented. But you know, and, and I have to tell you, in Marshall, Texas, that is a little bit of a strike against him. He looks like a hippie. Well, he looks like an, an eccentric genius. What what I've been told about these juries, and one of the reasons these companies pursue this in East Texas, is very conservative juries. Yes. So the. Uh, uh, the attorney Albright for Newegg says, uh, "We've heard a." He says, "We've heard a good bit in this courtroom." I'm quoting from the from the transcript in this bit in the, a good bit in this courtroom about public key encryption. Says Albright, "Are you familiar with that?" And Diffie says, "Yes, I am." Um, <laughs> in what surely qualifies as the biggest understatement of the trial. And then Albright says, and how is it that you're familiar with public key encryption? To which Diffie replies, I invented it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. And then, I mean, you would just think, it was like, okay, this is done. So then the, the plaintiff attorney gets up Mark Fenster, who's the lawyer for TQP, and says to Whit Diffie, you never completed a master's degree, yeah. did you? And Diffie says that's correct. Other than the honorary degree, you don't have an earned doctorate or PhD, correct? And Diffie says that is correct. And even though he taught a few courses... You never had a real professorship, correct? Asked Fenster. And Diffie says, I never had a full-time academic job. No. So, um, and then Fenster, of course, notes that although Diffie was testifying in court for the first time, he had other expert witness work lined up. His rate varies from $500 to $600 per hour, and it's $700 for testifying in court. And Newegg lost. <laughs>